so I got good news and I got bad news. Bad news, you've been lied to. Not by me, not by me, I didn't lie to you. But you've been lied to by the people telling you that learning to make beats is hard. This is really goes for any career field. The higher ups always want you to think that their job is super hard. Like, nope, nope, this is too hard. You can't learn this. Don't look away, look away. It's just not true. Learning to make beats isn't hard, especially if you learn the basics in a simple way from somebody willing to go at the right pace. Now, if your Instagram feeds or YouTube ads look anything like mine, not all of them, not all of them, but a lot of them, you see these producers, beat makers, like in this big fancy studio that you know, like, come on. They rented that out for the day just to make the ad look good and make it look like they're bigger than they are. I used to do the same, but then I was like, I can make great music right here in this little room. Like, why, why do all that? When I made things simple in my life, that's when I was able to become a music producer full time. I was working a desk job and I put in my phone one day as the background screen on my phone. I will quit my job by this specific date. And it happened. Simple. Simplicity. I mean, all the hit songs you hear nowadays are pretty damn simple <laughs> when you break them down. And they're all made in bedrooms nowadays, too. Bottom line, aspiring beat makers, aspiring music producers need to learn the simple steps for beat making. Now, if you guys know who I am, what's going on? How's the dog? How's the kids? If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Joey Nato. I'm a full-time music producer, recording artist, mixing engineer, YouTuber, songwriter. I've gained over 380,000 subscribers on YouTube. You could clearly see that, but I've been able to turn music production into a full-time thing. And I have a music producer react series where people come and they want to hear my insight and what I hear in their favorite songs. And what do I do in those videos? I take some seemingly complex concepts of music production and I make it simple for people to understand. I was someone who was struggling mightily and spending countless sleepless nights working and working just to get treadmill results. Now I'm getting hundreds of DMs, messages, emails of inspired music producers and beat makers asking for advice tips, etc. And anyone who's ever gotten a message back from me knows that I'm not afraid to write like a paragraph or two answer to them. I did, I do not want to give lazy answers to anybody. So I started to figure out a better way to start answering everybody's questions. Going back to the treadmill results thing that I mentioned, I want to make it clear that that was the majority of my career. To be even more exact, I produced music and made beats for 13 years before achieving anything. I know exactly what it's like to have your beats heard by friends and they're like, oh man, that's dope, knowing damn well in the back of the mind that, that it's not any good. They're just too afraid to tell you and then you don't get any better because of that. I know exactly what it's like to message every single Facebook friend you have, just asking every single person, people I haven't talked to in years, being like, yo, check out this song, check out this beat, I really wanna know what you think and you know, only a handful of people respond. I know what it's like to move to the mecca of the music industry. I moved to Los Angeles twice because it didn't work out the first time. I went another time to try to make it happen and it didn't happen. <laughs> I was trying to make any connects I could have. It ended up tragic for me. I started bumping heads with roommates, ended up living out of my car and just straight up losing my way. I made so many mistakes and the biggest one that I made of all was I was trying too hard. I had to make things simple. After this epiphany, I created my simple steps for beat making. Now there's three main reasons why simple steps of beat making is so important. One, you won't get overwhelmed with loads of information being thrown at you at once. Lots of information is great, but not when you're bombarded with it and you don't even have time to process one piece of information before the second one is thrown at you right away. It's like, what, what's going on here? It's yet another thing I wish I learned a long time ago, but I, I guess I suppose I suffered so you don't have to. Congrats. Number two, just like a well-made song, pace is very important. Actually, pace is vital. I can't teach you about chords, EQs, and mixing techniques until I teach you exactly what an 808 is, what different types of synthesizers are out there, what a kick, snare, what a hi-hat is. You have to learn to crawl before you can learn to walk, and I'm not interested in rushing the process. It should be a comfortable, nicely paced learning experience for you. Three, the simple steps of beat making can be applied to every single song that you'll produce for the rest of your life or your career. <laughs> it's funny, I used to practice the culinary arts and when I was working in the kitchen and learning from my mentor chefs or whatever, 
They were like, Joe, you're gonna learn that everything we're doing is very repetitive. And it took me so long, I don't know why, but it took me so long to realize music production, same exact way. Rewarding every single time, but it's a repetitive process. And once you learn the system and the steps, it, you'll be amazed. Every single music production, every single beat, every single piece of music in general can offer something new to the listener, something unique, but can be made in a very, very similar way to get that result. It all boils down to simplicity. Have you ever heard of simplicity? I probably said it about 20,000 times in this video. Now let's get a little bit deeper. If to this point you've been held back by insecurities, lack of confidence, confusion, lack of resources, or just being overwhelmed in general, then just take a second to picture this. Imagine you give yourself half a year, kind of a long time, but half a year to learn the simple steps of beat making. You're gonna go to school or go to work or do whatever your daily duties are every single day and have something to look forward to every single day you come home. You get to work on your craft every single day, something you enjoy because somebody luckily showed you that something was 20 times easier than you even thought it was. You start creating something and sharing it with friends and family and they're blown away by your creativity. That's a good feeling, by the way. You eventually turn it into a lifestyle because you fall in love with making music and then you make a sustainable living off of it. It doesn't have to be hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like, imagine imagine getting paid to do what, whatever you do at work now, but the job that you do is making music. Like, that's, that's all I wanted. That was insane for me. Learning to make music is truly life-changing. And I was incredibly lucky to do it at such a young age, but, I basically rode a bike across the entire country to get to the destination that I wanted to get to while people were in a plane above me laughing at me riding the bike across the country like, huh, why are you riding the bike, idiot? Why aren't you on the plane? I'm going to make sure that you're on the plane and not on the bike. You don't want to be on the bike. So, in my next video, I am going to start showing you guys how to start producing music and how to implement the simple steps of beat making. If you truly think making beats is difficult to do, the next video will completely change your mind and will get you excited about things you never thought you were capable of. Woo, got, got a little chill saying that. <laughs> Lastly, oh boy, here it is. I got something very exciting new. This is something I've been working on for a while and this is long overdue. In just a few days, I'll be launching my basics of beat making online course. I will finally be taking a handful of students and teaching them the basics of beat making from scratch. This is long overdue. <laughs> this is very long overdue, but it's finally happening. Now, notice I said handful. That's not, I'm not being literal when I say that. But as much as I would love to help everyone out with simple steps of beat making, I think students get the best results when you work in a smaller like group setting. That way everyone can get the help and support that they really need. So this is gonna be a genuinely pretty rare opportunity and spots are gonna be granted on a first come, first serve basis. So if this online course is something that you're excited about, there'll be a link in the description below and in the pinned comment below. And you could click that and add your name to the early bird wait list. Everyone on the early bird wait list will get access to the registration for the course the night before the course actually launches. You will get early access before the public does. So make sure you place your name on the early bird wait list, just click the link, Fill out the very short form, very short, like I, you just have to enter your name and email address and your spot will be reserved and you'll get early access to the program. Man, I, I'm so glad I finally told you guys though about this course. It's been like a, a secret that I've been hiding from you guys, but no, no more secrets, no more secrets. I cleared my DMs, I went through my emails, everything, everything is clear. So if you guys have any questions specifically about the basics of beat making course, then hit me up, Leave a me send me a message, let me know if you have any questions. Once again, make sure to watch the next video where I start showing you guys how to implement the simple steps of beat making. It's time for you to finally start to learn how to make beats yourself. I never say this ever, but turn your notifications on. Well, I did make a whole song about that. <laughs> but turn your notifications on so you don't miss that video. I'm incredibly excited. Appreciate you guys watching. Nado.